welcome back to my channel. Tonight's video hey, is going to be something that is very close to my heart. I did this last year as well and it is doing a pink eye makeup look because October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Now it's a subject that's very close to my heart as it is I'm sure to many of you. Uh, I lost my mum, it will be 15 years on the 19th of October, to breast cancer and liver cancer she had. So it's something that's very, very close to my heart. So I just wanted to do this video. So I've got a different few items here that are all pink inspired and I'm just going to shove it on my face and we're going to create something. So let me just rearrange myself in this ring light that's just the bane of my existence as always it's so broke it's buggered all together i swear it's actually a year old in october and it's still as shit as the day i got it yay okay we're going to start off with the ordinary high adherence silicone primer i've already used my body shop spritz to hydrate one's face it's getting low this primer Oh, it's cold on the chops. The weather is getting cooler, people, but I still find it warm because of all the problems with my inner temperature. My thermostat's wonky. <laughs> no, um, the doctor thinks that my fluoxetine that I take for my anxiety, one of the side effects of that is sweating and flushing. So he thinks possibly that's what's causing my sweats rather than pre-menopausal. So I'm being slowly weaned off of that. And hopefully he'll then put me on to... What am I looking for that would help? Oh yes, here we go. I am looking for this Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. And I've got it in light number two. So as I was saying, yeah, he's slowly taking me off that. And he's going to put me on something else for my anxiety. And hopefully all this sweating will stop. And it might be TMI, but this is reality. Normally at work, no matter the weather, no matter the heat, no matter what's going on, I have to take a spare pair of underwear and change it every single day. That's how much it's affecting my life and it's very uncomfortable. And today is the first day in months I haven't had to do that. So I'm happy, but that's because I still had, I had the door open when I was working because I had no one around me to moan and go, it's cold, shut that door. And also it is getting a bit colder. So this is a Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter. It is so good. I mean, look at that glow. So I'm just adding a little bit of this before I put my foundation on, just to give my face a bit of inner delight. I mean, it even has a sheen slightly, I don't know if you'll see it, on my hands. It's brilliant. If you don't want to buy this, because Charlotte Tilbury is expensive. See if you go on to Feel Unique and then go to Samples and go to their Pick and Mix, which is a service where it only costs you £3.95 to pick five samples. They're doing samples of this if you want to go and pick it up. And if you want to know how Feel Unique works, I will leave links to the videos that I've done of that. Next, we are going in with a L'Oreal up to 24 hour foundation, Infallible Pro Glow. And this is in Nude Beige 203. And I got this from Amazon. It's quite a liquidy foundation. I'm just going to put a wee bit on my trusty number seven sponge. And put it on my face. So, it's Monday. It's a new week. How has your day been? Was it a good Monday? Was it a normal Monday? Was there anything different to it? My Monday was actually okay for a change, wasn't too bad, went by quite quickly, just the way we like it, four more days to go this week, and then off at the weekend, so that's always good. Does anyone else do that? Do they literally count down the days to their days off and their holidays? <laughs> or maybe some of you enjoy your work, and you like being there. What's that like? Enjoying your job, 
job satisfaction. Eh? Anyway, so yes, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and it's also Stand Up to Cancer, I believe, this month as well. So I did ask quite a few other YouTubers if they wanted to collab with me on doing this because it's such a good cause, but they had other commitments, which is fair enough. And a couple of them didn't even bother to reply, so I just thought, well, I'm just going to do it myself. So that's what I'm doing. Cancer is such a horrible disease. It really is. It just, it really, really is a horrible disease. <sighs> so, next thing I'm going to do is prime my eyelids. If I can find my eyelid primer in the drawer of the room. Where is it? Should be easy to find. It's got a white lid on it. You know what? Screw it. I am just going to dive straight on it. Now I've got a few different palettes here. I've got the Ultimate Brights by NYX. I've got my Huda because even though it says Mauve Obsessions, these are more pink. I also have this Colourpop Shock Shadow and Twitter Painted, which is a pinky thing me. I also have this Press Pigment, which is pink. And then, of course, I have my trusty, loved gingerbread spice palette, which just has this mad pink there. So I'm not really sure what to do or where to go or when to start. So I think I'll go into the gingerbread spice. I also have this too that I got from Senia in our American box swap, which is called the Purr My Little Pony All in One Glow Stick, but it's it literally falls out. So it's pink as well. And I'll swatch it my hand for you. Look. It's like woo woo. So I don't even know if you'll see it on, but it literally falls out all the time. So I think what we'll do is we'll just take a brush. Oh, I love that brush. Let's not use that one. I'm going to take just a bog standard brush. It's called Emax Designs. Got it on Amazon for my Christmas. And I'm going to go into this white shade called Powdered Sugar and just put it all over my eye because I cannot find it is in that drawer I know it is but you don't want to listen to me rustling about so it was a nice enough day today and now it's piddling down with rain so once I film this I'm going to get all cosy and have a YouTube catch up next one I'm going to take is this look at my cookie which is like a light pink and pop that all over my lid as well now I think I might want to put tape on my eye for this look I'm not too sure I like putting the tape on because see trying to fold the shape of your eye it's really difficult because this is my eye that plays ball and this one doesn't so it all goes to shit so I'm just putting some of this pink all over the lid as well it's a really nice pink see that lovely I want everybody in life that loves makeup to have this gingerbread spice palette because it is amazing. This is my second time using it. I'll also, I just love it so much. My boyfriend's like, you've got so much makeup. And I'm like, I know, and I don't wear it every day because there's no point in my job either. Right, so for the now, put that one away. Okay, I think I am going to put some tape on my ease. So I've got some Micropore medical tape here. I'm just going to put some here. I don't know how well it will stick because I already have my foundation on. But we will see. My eyebrows need so badly plucked. They'll be getting done in a couple of weeks when I go away. So just ignore them. <laughs> now, I'm going to go into this Ultimate Bright NYX palette. And I'm going to use... I feel like I'm sinking into this bed. <laughs> this same brush, I think. Or is that one a bit big? Maybe I'll take this brush. This is a Real Techniques 200, eh, 
201 brush and I think I'm going to go into this pink here. Crazy pink. Oh, look how much. And I'm going to use this wee mirror. And we are going to just go for it. Absolutely go for it. I see loads of people. See, this is where I hate my eyes because see when I do anything up put above here I think it looks really messy got a really itchy nose today and that means you're gonna have an argument it's not happened yet dad watch out mm -hmm. so you want look how intense that pink is mm -hmm. right into there take it on to the other eye and I like using the tape as like a guide god I've got hairs even down there eyebrows are a riot I might have to pluck some of it before the next couple of weeks I hate doing that but it's like two weeks two weeks to go before I'll be getting there and the woman will be like you look like an orangutan woman bit more of that pink Taking it higher up because I've got slightly hooded eyes. So, and I shut my eyelid. Like, you know, if I'm looking at you straight on, you're not really seeing it. So, that's why I tend to not do liner liner. That is a nut. Kind of pink that in it. I'm going to go back in with this one that I used for the lighter shades and just sort of diffuse it just a tiny tad. I'm going to look like Dame Aidan at Average. Possums. Right, now I won't see, I don't, I don't think that is pink is it? It's purple. So we'll move that one to the side the now. Hmm. See, this is where it goes all a bit tits, doesn't it? I'm going to go into my gingerbread spice palette and into this pink, which is called Gumdrop. And I'm just going to keep using the same brush. Look at that. This is a beauty of a pink. It is actually like the most stunning colour. I mean, look at that. Stunning colour. I'm going to take that just under where I put that one and really sort of concentrate it, wing it out, bring it in, circle it back and forward. It is such an intense pink. I mean look, what? It packs a punch and I'm taking it into like the natural crease that I have there of my eye. And just going for it. This, all this, I know it looks a mess up there and that, but I'll try my best, to the best of my ability to sort all that out once I take the tape off. Sometimes I'm not really sure what to do, if you've got any tips with how to make that look less messy. I tend to just sometimes take a bit of concealer, clean it up. Now, I'm going to go back into this little look at my cookie, which is a really light pink again. Because I don't have a lot of matte pink shades. And I'm just going to add a little bit on. Just to diffuse it out a bit. Because that's some crazy heavy pinkness going on there. And then I'm going to take this brush here and just give it a wee blend all together. And if you can hear my dad shouting badass, he's watching some pro American programme and the guy always says badass. Now, I think I'm going to go back into this and go into this one, take some pink. As you can tell, all the walls in my house are very thin, so you can hear everything. It's lovely. And I'm again going to go into here where I took that 
gumdrop one from the gingerbread palette and I'm just going to completely intensify it again. See this one's just got like a natural flowing shape, this eye, and this one's just a dick. Okay, now while I've got the tape on though, I want to go into this little smaller brush and dip into that same pink. And I don't know why I make that face, but it's the face I make. I'm just going to take it under the eye there. Sometimes I find this irritates my eyes if I put it under it, so that's why a lot of the times in my videos you won't see me put any colour under there. Okay, now. <sighs> I don't know what I'm doing with this look. I'm going to go back in again with this gumdrop shade because I think it's beautiful. And I'm going to take it on this brush this time. And again, just intensify that look there. <laughs> look like I've literally got pink eye. I'm glad the school, the school bus for the high school just arrived and I'm glad they can't see me down here. They're like, what the hell is she doing? She looks like a maniac on the floor. Oh. Okay. Now, what I am going to do now is I am going to get a concealer and not throw it away. <laughs> Hold on, please. I've got carpal tunnel in my hand where well, the doctor think it's sat and oh it's so sore I'm going to take some of it oh, opening things on the back of my hand here I'm going to take this little brush I'm not doing a cut crease as such but I'm going to take it as precisely as I can because I've got really shaky hands and I'm just going to add it a little bit into the mobile lid there and just pat it in with my finger. It doesn't have to be neat because I'm going to go over it. I mean, take the rest. It's quite a creamy concealer, this one by Colourpop. But it's not the right shade for me. Unfortunately, it's far, far, far too light. And it doesn't matter that I've got some down there because it can just sink into my milia. Make that stand out <laughs> ten times more. Mint. What I'm going to do now is I am going to go into my Huda Beauty and I'm going to use this shade here with this brush. And I'm just going to pop it over this part of my lid. And then I'm going to take this brush and just sort of blend that so that's like a lighter infusion of the pink do the same again She's a maniac, maniac on the floor And she don't know what she's a bitch for Ooh. Okay Now Now I am going to go into this pink glittery one here With the same brush And press some of this Onto my eye as well. 
Oh, my eye didn't like that. No wonder I get really sore eyes putting this much makeup on and then taking it off again. <laughs> Okay, take this brush again, give it a sweepy, 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 just to blend it in. Nice circular window motions back and forward. Now that's not enough, is it? So, let's have a try at this pressed glitter. I've never used this, ever. I got this in one of my <gasps> latest in beauties. Oh my god. Look at it. I'm trying to show you without getting it everywhere, but I'm going to get it everywhere. It's so messy. So let me just go in with my finger and place that on. Oh my god. That is insane. Absolutely insane. I'll probably end up with glitter all down my face. Who cares? Oh, that is beautiful, is it not? Let's just get it everywhere. Oh, that's lovely. I really want to just throw it all over the place. But it's just... Oh, get it all in there. Right. Now, I need to put this back in the wee packet because it's actually a riot. <laughs> okay, hold on. Hold, hold, hold. Let me see. Oh my god. Okay. There is a shit ton of glitter all over my face now and I don't really think... Right, so we've got that glitter on. Look at it. It's nuts. So, but we're not going to stop there. I'm going to use some of this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. Why am I dropping everyone? Take some of it on my finger. And I'm going to add some of this over the top as well. Now I can feel my eyelids a little bit irritating. I think with all that glitter because it's quite harsh glitter these pressed pigments so my skin is probably dying for me to get all of this off of my eyes now we could stop there but will we I'm going to go into the gingerbread spice palette and I'm going to go into a bit of hot toddy and I'm going to take that on my finger Oh my god. And I'm just going to push a bit of this into it as well. This is more of a ready tone though than pink. I feel, but I'll just push a wee bit of that into it. Yeah, that's too ready. If you look, see that hot toddy is more of a red tone. So that's not happening there. So we'll just... I can feel all the glitter shifting. I'm going to have to go back in to the colour pop super shock shadow here and go back over the top because this is pink and glittery personified. My eyes are like screaming at me. Oh that hot toddy one really ruined that I think I'll have to put a bit more of this mad crazy glitter on but I don't really want to put too much more on because it's a really harsh glitter I feel like look at it But we'll just stick a little bit more over that bit there. Right, I'm going to have to stop. Stop, Julie. Stop with the eyes. Right, let's just slightly 
Oh my goodness. Right, 25 minutes in. Get this tape off till we see what we're doing. I went down the thing like she, she never heard it before. Now, we need some serious cleanup. So, where is that concealer? We're going to take this Colourpop concealer and we are going to slap the hell out of it round this eye because it needs some serious, serious help. And I'm using one of my Ecotil sponges, which I do not like. Even when I wait it, it's just, it's too much, it's too much. And I see I'm just going up here because I like to slightly try and control it. Now see, this is what I mean, look. I get a nice shape to this side and then you've got this. Why can't it do this on this side and be a nice shape? I hope I'm not getting the cold because I have literally two weeks ago just got over a virus. But it's the time of year, isn't it? Everybody gets ill. Oh, this eye. See, that one's got a nice shape. This one's just a dick altogether. The left eye dick. Your left eye dick. <laughs> And then I'm going to take a tiny wee bit up here because I just feel like it's too much. And try and tidy it up with a bit of concealer. Now, let's see if I can, with a bit of colour that's left, just try and make that the same sort of a shape as the other one. By Jings, I think she might have done it. <laughs> okay. We'll take a bit more of that pink under the eyes. Now, I don't have a pink or a red or whatever eyeliner, but I don't know I don't think that clean is going to work so I'm just going to grab a mascara put some mascara on, any mascara will do this is a Clinique one Got to do the bottom lashes first though. I love Lisa, po Lisa Potter Dixon. She's the head makeup artist for Bobby Brown. And she always says to do the bottom first and then do the top. Hopefully gonna get her books for Christmas and then I can read all the wonders. That's quite nice mascara. So that's mascara on. Ooh. Now, I still feel at the edges that something's a mess. Like, see how it's just got that nice there? But it's just not sitting nicely. Don't bring it. Let's just dip back into this ultimate braids and see. And get it just to sit better. I'll have to do is it do my tits in? Right. Now we need to finish off the face. So I need some concealer that actually matches my freaking skin. There we are. So conceal and define all around the road, gotta get so much redness a little bit of it under the eyes but not too much because I get milia and a huge build up of milia under my eyes and then I'm going to take my nice number 7 sponge and bounce that in to my skin the milia seems to be better on 
the left eye that's a dick. That's its official name, left eye dick. Just really sick. Sitting in my pores at the minute. And I don't even have big pores, but... Like, I don't know if you can see it, it's just all building up in the middle of how did this get to 30 minutes? Oh well. <laughs> Powder. Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Ear. I have dropsy. Earbrush powder. Where is me? Oh. This brush here. A little bit of powder. Set those areas. Gorgeous. Too Faced Peach Bronzer. I like to take it over my nose, jawline, chin down the neck. And then we need a pink blush, of course. So I've got this Physicians Formula one that I got in my Brooks Swap with Senior Real Techniques 300 brush. Get some good pinkage going on. Oh, look! Look at my pink cheeks. I want it to be super pink just because the pink is the main theme. That's lovely. I don't know if you can see it. Pink rose cheeks. Crookie, 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 crookie. Now, pink highlights as such. I've got this afterglow kit and I've got this pink highlight, but I don't know how pink is going to come up. So take away Charlotte Tilbury brush here. And just see if we can Enhance the pinkness Oh Mary I'm back my phone was like ah oh, you've run out of time so I had I, I was adding highlighter <laughs> So I was taking the pink highlighter from my afterglow palette I just honestly never thought this video was going to be so long But there you go, okay now we are going to add some more pinky kind of highlight. The reason I'm going all out is because, I mean, why not? Might as well. It is, after all, for a good cause. So I might as well be blinged out my nut. Oh, that's stunning on that Cupid's bow. Yes, Julie. We like that a lot, love. Now, last thing to do is lips. I don't really have a pink lipstick so I'm using this Primark lip pencil which is I think. Well, it's a kind of hink. I'm just gonna go all over my lip with it. See if I get to the end of this and then and shot won't let me upload it, I swear to God. So I don't know, I've got this kind of pinkish kind of Tanya Burr gloss and I've also got this um, lipstick called XOX by Bare Minerals. But it's as pinky as I've got. Really, and I might add a bit of the gloss on top. Oh, the gloss smells like two, it's a freaking love it. And there you have my inspired pink look for breast cancer awareness. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> I'm sorry it is so long. But this is the look that I have created. I'm no makeup artist, as you can tell. So, there we are. 
pink and pretty. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and also you can still enter my 1000 subscriber giveaway because it's still running and I will leave links to all of that for you. Hope you enjoyed this video, it is a good cause so please do like and share. Thanks so much, bye.